Okay. I have written five verbs. Okay. But my dear, listen to me. You are again using the notebooks with you. You are taking the help of your notebook. Uh, it is not allowed. <laughs> okay. Now you have to so have... close your copy and then you have to explain all these things. Okay. So start. Okay, from tomorrow I will not use my notebook. <laughs> I don't remember I don't remember these things. Uh, oh my god, you are such I, uh, getting feared. Oh my I, god, what will happen if I don't touch my notebook? Then, my god, <laughs> you are so much uh, frightening. Oh, no need to frighten, dear. When you will be trying for stuff from, for, from initiative, you will get much, so much, but don't take care of all these things. Just go on breakfasting. Just close your copy. But I... I don't uh, learn uh, these five verbs. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. Oh my God. You didn't learn. You don't have to learn. You just have to have the common sense of all these things. Just have a common sense. Everything you can't learn, my dear. Everything you can't learn. Never you can learn everything in this world. Everything about speaking English. Everything you can't learn. You have to have the common sense. Then what is the point? What is the point of view? Just from that only, you have to come out. Okay, just close your copy and start your uh, explanation. This is, there is no international stage that you are going to explain here. So you are just practicing. Just close it and start. Okay, no need to worry. I am here. I will try my level best to help you. Give, give, given. Pronunciation in this, right? Uh, yes, yes. G give, gave, given. Yes. Okay. Find, found, founded. Mm. Founded. Find, found, found. Find, found, found. Uh, yes. Okay. Find, found, found. Freeze, freezed, freezed. Yes. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so forgive okay okay so innocent you are for, forgive forgive forgiven yes forgive forgave forgiven you see only for has been added now it is the spelling from give give gave given so forgive forgave forgiven okay this is the thing. Next. Forget, forgot, forgot. Forget. Forgotten. Forgot, forgotten. Yes. Forgotten. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Yes. Okay. Okay. These, these are five verbs. Okay. And the previous one, then, you can't say without the help of your copy. That's the thing. Okay. <laughs> From the next one, you start uh, to not to take your copy, okay? So there are uh, six uh, six kind of sentences. Mm -hmm. The first one is affirmative. Affirmative, affirmative is the basically positive sentences that we use in our daily life. Whatever we are doing, we are something affirmating, some, uh, like something positive. Anything, anything is uh, happening in a positive way. So we uh, we call them affirmative sentences. For example, right now I'm learning English, and or we can also say with uh, past tense like I'm learning. I'm learning English from last one month. So these uh, these are uh, these uh, this process is continuous from last one month. And this is a positive sentence. So this this is an example of affirmative sentence. After that, negative sentences. The basically the sentences uh, they have some form of negative thoughts or negative things. We tell them negative sentences, like I am not completing my homework. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
my god you are so innocent okay okay very good then it's it's a negative th- it's a negative uh, we have a negative form here <laughs> like okay 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 thank you then, after that thank you for surrendering uh, that means at least you are surrendering that you didn't do <laughs> your homework okay then after next that, uh, the third one is assert assertive sentence basically the assertive sentence has a mixed uh, mixed sentences with some form of positive thoughts and some form of negative thoughts these sentences are basically two sentences combined we combine in one second one sentence like i want to go to the party but i don't have any passes or i want to go to the party but i don't have entry passes so in the first sentence is the positive sentence the affirmative sentence is there like i want to go to party in this in the second part of sentence but i don't have any passes so that one is negative thought and we are combining these both sentences in one sentences this one sentence and that we call assertive assertive sentence next the fourth one is imperative sentence imperative sentence is imperative sentence is just like requesting or ordering something mm. example say may i come in may I, may i come in is also a request we are requesting mm. then I have a confusion between optative and exclamatory. Okay, next one. Exclamatory is mm-hmm. exclamatory is the uh, the happiness, uh, mm-hmm. na, mm-hmm. For wishing for something like hooray or I won the match. We have won the match. Exclamatory, feeling the happiness of feeling the happiness or sorrow like this. Okay, not wishing. Wishing is optative. Uh, wishing praying for good or for others is optative or scolding others is optative thinking negative thoughts about others is optative thinking good thoughts about others is optative okay prayer optative means prayer remind this optative means prayer that means you are praying for someone or something or for others that they get blessed or exclaimer an exclamatory exclamatory when we get when we are passing when we are getting victory we are feeling happiness remind this all hmm. when we are feeling uh, when uh, the uh, we are uh, we are getting victory that means we are winning in a, any game that means we are feeling the happiness okay and that feeling of happiness is called exclamatory hooray wow like this this kind of body language these are exclamatory an optative wishing for others praying for others i wish i wish he may get passed in this exam with good marks okay wishing for others happiness is not for uh, uh, just for your yourself only it is for everyone when you are winning you are feeling happy when you are wishing that uh, you are winning that um, we are all of all of us are getting wished getting a uh, victory in the game then also we are becoming happy so happiness comes from uh, watching the video also wow the match was so be- so tremendous the match was so tremendous that means wow the feeling first of all we are feeling the first word hooray wow wow so beautiful scenery wow so charming nature is so wow then uh then what is wow hooray hooray yay when we are doing like this we are what we are what doing we are feeling the expression of happiness if something is not good then oof alas like this we are telling okay 
So this thing we have to what? We have to we have to follow. We have to remind. Hooray! Wow! Yes! Yeah! Hey! You are my friend. Like this, we are telling and just hugging uh, our friend like this, our friends, our sister, whatever. Okay. So you you have to be feeling you have to get the feeling you will see the feeling of happiness whole body expresses okay and optative you see i wish he may get past that means i am wishing i am wishing i wishing i am praying i i pray may god bless you i pray to god that he may get he may give you a blessing